Hey everyone, it's Meg. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-layered image in the Cricut Design Space app. Let's get started. Once I open the app, I'm going to select New Project. From here, I'm going to select Upload. If I haven't already created my image as an SVG image in the app, I'm going to do so by selecting from Photo Library. I'm not going to walk you through those steps in this video, but I do have a previously uploaded video that can teach you how to do that. Since I have my image saved already and ready to work with, I'm going to select Open Uploaded Images. From here, I'm going to click on the image I want to work with one time. Once it's highlighted, I'm going to select Insert. Now, if you notice, I'm using a very popular I Smell Children of the Sanders Sanderson sisters, excuse me. Just like any movie, any characters, if you don't have the license to use it, it's a friendly reminder that this is only for personal use. It's not something you can use for sale unless you have the license agreement to do so. So to be able to use this, I'm gonna go ahead and select it one time. I can drag and move this wherever I need to on the screen. I'm just moving it to the top so that it's easiest for you guys to see. It does not matter where you drag and drop this. It's just your personal preference. I'm going to select actions from the bottom toolbar. And from here on the toolbar that populates above, I'm going to scroll all the way to the right. I'm going to select duplicate. And I'm just going to pull this down so I can see where I'm working with. I'm going to select contour on the right hand side. And what's going to happen is I'm going to deselect what I don't want to see. It is easiest when working with similar colors. So in this image, I know that all their hair is different. So I'm going to deselect that by simply clicking it one time. You can see it's deselected because it becomes gray versus black. Also, I know that the lettering I'm gonna do in one solid color, and I also know I'm gonna do their lips in one solid color. So I can only choose one or the other. I'm gonna deselect the letters. Again, I'm just clicking on them one time. And if you notice, when you click on it, sometimes it takes care of the inside versus the outside. It's really sensitive, so you just wanna, It's um, wherever your thumb is hitting on the line. So I'm going to zoom in by putting two fingers on the screen and pulling them apart. So pinch to zoom, if you will. That way I get these internal loops. And then if I want to see my whole image, I take two fingers on the screen and pull them closer. Now I can see I only have their lips selected, which is where I want to start with. I'm going to hit the contour icon on the bottom right hand side to deselect this screen. And now I just have these three little images. I'm going to change that color. So I'm going to go to edit in the bottom toolbar. And then on the left hand side where it says basic cut operation, you'll see a black circle that's indicating the color you're working with. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to select red for their lips and hit apply. Now from here, I am just gonna repeat, repeat, repeat. So I'm gonna start with my actions icon at the bottom, scroll to the right and hit duplicate. I'm gonna drag and move this so it's easier for you guys to see, but you certainly don't need to do that. I'm gonna hit contour. And now I'm gonna select other items I'm gonna work with. Again, I like to take care of all of my like items first. So we already took care of the lips. Now I'm gonna take care of the letters since they'll all be the same color. And I'm gonna click, oops, I accidentally got her hair. It's really easy to just click the wrong um, line, but it's just as easy to <laughs> click what you need. So I'm gonna deselect the lips. And I did it this way because I want you to see this error that you are going to get. It's gonna say there must be at least one visible contour in the layer. And what that means is I need to have something selected. I don't want to completely take away everything in the image. So I'm just gonna select where I'm gonna go next 
before I deselect that. That way the system doesn't yell at me. Now I'm going to go ahead and click one time on all my letters making sure I get my internal loops. I'm going to put my two fingers in and pinch into zoom so I can get those loops. And that way I can also go ahead and zoom out as well. I like to do that before I close the screen just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm going to hit contour and notice now I can see I only have I smell children selected. I don't want that in red, so I'm going to go to edit, hit my color option beside basic cut on the left, and select the color of my choosing and hit apply. So now we need to take care of their hair. So I'm going to go back to actions, scroll to the right, select duplicate, and from here I'm going to hit contour. I'm going to select the hair I want to work with first and then deselect what I had already selected. This part of the process is very repetitive. However, once you do it a few times, you get the hang of it. Once I like what I have made as my selection, I'll hit contour to close that window. Go back to edit, select my basic cut options, and this is where I'll change that color again. Once I have my preference, I can hit apply. And again, I'm gonna repeat it again. You're gonna repeat this for as many colors as you need in your particular image. So I go to actions, scroll to the right, select duplicate. And again, I'm just moving this over so you guys can see it better, but you do not have to move it over. If you wanna just have them wherever on your screen, that's totally fine. Select contour, select my second Sanderson sister. 10 points for you if you can name all three. I hope you can. Hit contour. Her hair is a different color, so I'm gonna select edit. Go back to basic cut, select her hair, and hit apply. And then we have one more sister, so we're gonna go back to actions, scroll to the right, hit duplicate. Select contour, select her hair, deselect hers, go back to contour. Oops, for some reason mine went too far to the right, so I just pinched my screen so I could see a little bit more and move her back over. She went on a little right there, sorry. And now we're back. So I have her selected. I'm going to hit edit, basic cut hair color, hit apply. And now I have all of my options. I can drag and drop it where I need to go so I can see my layers. If you were to drag and drop this and you aren't able to see it in front of your image, all you have to do is change the direction, which is really, really nice. So, oops, I accidentally clicked two at the same time. It's so sensitive, but it's always easy to correct what you're doing. So if I wasn't able to see her hair, um, all I have to do is scroll to the right-hand side of the edit tab. So I already have edit selected in green at the bottom. Scroll to the right, hit arrange, and from here, it'll allow me to change if I need to make the image go forward or backwards, depending on what I need. So this is how I, what am I doing? This is how I am able to create a multi-layer image and I am able to see what I need. And that way I can then go to make it and print and all my colors are beautiful and I'm able to now have a multi-layered vinyl. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions about any other applications in the system, I'm happy to help and create a video. Leave a comment or connect with me in some way so that I'm able to help you. And again, 10 points for you. If you know the names of the three Sanderson sisters, comments below. I'd love to hear what you think their names are.